Hey guys, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Salsa and Bachatamos. My name is Alexandros and I'm from the island of Cyprus and have a healthy new year. That's the most important one actually. And then have a beautiful dance year. Vaccines are on the way. Vaccines are getting left and right. Let's see what happens if we get our social back. And this video is something that I've actually never done in the channel. I just put combinations for beginners, for improvers, for intermediate. But what about the people out there that never had any salsa lessons and they would want to learn just the basic steps? So if you're a complete beginner and you have no idea about how to dance salsa and what's the timing all about, stick around because I'm going to also make it to music and there's going to be five, your first five basics. And then another time I will show you how you can do it with a partner. But the most important thing is finding your timing and learning the steps and their variations. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay guys, now I'm a little bit further back so you can see the whole steps uh, because we're also going to be learning how to do left and right turns. Those have to be one of your first five basics and we'll try them with music as well. If you have any questions, leave your comments below and a small side note, sorry for the quality again. This is from my uh, mobile and hopefully the sun is helping a little bit with the quality and the editing. If you like to support me to get an HD camera, there's a donation link for PayPal in the description. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna go first forward with the left foot. This is for both boys and ladies. We go one, we step on the spot, and we come back. Now, I'm not doing any hip movements or shoulder movements. If you like, after this lesson, to learn those things with the basic, I'm going to have the video here where you can learn how to do uh, isolations and hip movements. So we are going forward, counting one, two, three, four is a pause, so we do nothing. Then we go back with the right this time, not the left, five, six, and seven, we close again, eight is a pause. So if you count it continuously, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some people slowly, the more advanced stakes, will tap the eight or the four, which is a pause, but now we have to keep it and slowly, slowly eliminate it. But in the beginning, we have to keep that pause. Now, because it's a pause and there is no step, in salsa, we don't count it. So we count one, two, three, five, six, seven. So it goes one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, no count. Another easy way you can think about it if you're having difficulty with counting is quick, quick, pause. Quick, quick, pause. Or quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, Quick, slow. Now I promise this is just the first step and I'm not going to take this long for each step, but the first step you learn, this is called the mumbo basic or the salsa basic. It has to be perfectly on time. So you can learn as a basis for the rest of the uh, simple steps we're going to do today that they have the same timing. Speaking of, step number two. Side step, it still has the same timing principle. One, to the side, don't take all your weight. Two, on the spot. Three, you close, you pause. To the right, replace the left, and close. And you're counting one, two, three, five, six, seven. That's how we complete a full eight. Three, five, six. Now connect with the basic. One, two, three, five, six to the side. One, two, three, five, six to the basic. You can do as many times, but now that you're doing it with me, just listen and follow as many times as I say so. I'm going to put some music and let's enjoy the first two salsa basics. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Pop, pop, pop. One, two, three. Second, two, three. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Face forward. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, one. Five, six, 
All right, very good work. So they're not so difficult, are they? But you have to remember to have that little smoothness of the quick, quick, slow in every step you learn. In the more advanced, you can cut it in half and go one, two, three to the side and then go back if you like. But in the beginning, I suggest you complete a full count of eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. The eight, we don't say it because it's a pause. And then connect something else. Then you will slowly, slowly start cutting them half and half and half double the amount of footwork. Now, step number three is very nice. Then both of the feet going back. So instead of going forward with the left, you're going to go back with the left behind the other foot. Be careful. Don't go far away, guys. It doesn't look nice and you want to stay close with your partner. So step back on one. And now this step replaces on the same spot like the other one. One. Two. And instead of putting the feet together on three, smile difference on this step is the only step we're going to have our feet apart. Now we bring the other foot back, just to have the other foot one, replace on two, step on three. So three steps, three steps. If we count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, quick. Quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Be careful, don't end up doing this. It's a no-no. All right, now, before we go to the next step and also do it to music, I'm gonna have something extra for this step. We're gonna turn a quarter to the left and then half, half. Let me explain, this is called butterfly. So when I say butterfly, we're going to that one. So we have a basic as we always want to start. One, two, three. Latin cross or Cuban cross, our first set. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now let's open for a butterfly. We're going to step back and back. Ladies can open the arm, can open the arm. Guys can open the arms as well. Open the arms, especially if you have a partner. And it's your first figure, back to the basic, to the front, and voila. So that was the third, but it had a variation. Now for fourth and fifth, I'm going to go through them a little bit uh, quick so we can put them with the music. If you like, you can fast forward, but it's better to learn it slow. We do a basic one, two, three is always starting. Now everybody, imagine a clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, behind you 6, 9, 12. So, from here, we're going to turn at 2 o'clock and take a diagonal step. Many people think that the basic way is to go forward, then spin around. I think that's a technique, and it's a step that can be choreographed or extra. But a basic turn, we don't want to go straight because you have a partner there, lady or guy. So it's better you turn a little bit diagonally. Then, from 2 o'clock, go to 7. That's exactly behind you. Swivel on that foot and place it down. Now, with that right foot having the weight, you haven't moved to the left foot. You're going to swivel around and close your feet together. So, you just close with the left. You will continue back with the right. And we have the fourth step, which is the right turn. So, watch it again. One, two, three. At 2 o'clock, we start. One. Two, three, five. Look if I just turn whatever, like this. Yes? Or if I step forward and I try to turn later. Or how clean it looks. Two o'clock, seven o'clock, back to the twelve o'clock to follow up with the guy or with the lady. Okay, and the last one is turn to the left. This one is a different because we're turning to the left, so the steps are different. One, Two, you start turning to your left. One, two. So that means you place a little bit more weight on your one. And you go one, two, three. You change exactly 180 degrees. Now from here, you're going to step forward with your right foot. Five. Don't put all your weight there and put your ball of your foot down. This part right here. So it uses like a pivoting spot. Six. You step here, 
Seven, close the feet, and you finish the left turn. One, two, three. Don't turn from now, please. Don't do this. Five, and point your butt out. Many people do this. I really don't like it. I just turn fast. Wow. Pick that up from bowling. <laughs> All right. So right turn first. I'll do the basic. One, two, three. Right turn. Go. One, two, three, and back. Now left turn. One, two, three, five, six, seven. You see, if you step a little bit forward on seven, that's it's, it's, it's okay. You don't have to always be perfectly close. Actually, that's how you start your salsa, and then you will slowly expand your step, cross your step, and make it more advanced. All right? So these last three steps that we learned are the Latin cross with the butterfly opening, the right turn, and the left turn. How about we do everything to music? We start with the basic, a side, and then we do the third step, the Latin cross or Cuban cross, then right turn, then left turn. You're like, it's too much. No, it's not. You will remember this. Just watch the video once or twice, and believe me, after that, you will be able to practice it by yourself. Put in YouTube beginner salsa songs that have counting inside, or they're slow, so you can figure out how to find the one. If you like, I have musicality lessons right here that will help you open up your ear more. Let's go everything to music. Ready? One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, back to the basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Third set, we go out to the left, Latin cross or Cuban cross. One, two, three, step to the side. One, two, three, come over to the left. One, two, three, open up to the butterfly. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, back to the basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Turn to the right, to the right. Very precise. Turn to the right. Now turn to the left. One, two, the back. Step, turn in. One, two, three, four, five, five, to the left. One, two, back. Step, and turn. One, two, three. Now we're going to do everything without a pause. On the basics. One basic. To the side. it everyone I hope you liked the video this was the most simple way I could explain the five beginner basics that you have to learn for salsa for complete beginners I hope you learned these steps from me because I get real uh, proud of my work if somebody comes and says I've learned my first salsa step from you or maybe I didn't learn the first salsa step but I've learned how to do this combination because of you and I like to give away and this channel has been now six years going. Of course, I just put in the beginning a few videos and then I let it go. But then when I saw people started liking it, we've passed 700 videos. But through that duration, our cameras and our phones became older. The quality became older. So we need a little bit of support. And now we're going on full lockdown in our island in Cyprus. Unfortunately, we have more than 500 hits of coronavirus a day, which that for a 700,000 population island, that's not good. And that's going to close down our job. So I know you have it difficult as well. I know many people out there have problems, but if you can also support me, the channel, Expressions, 
the dance school, what we represent, and all about sharing dance. So if you like, again, there's a link for donation in the description. And see you on the next video. Leave the questions in the comments below. See you guys.